Ubiquiti has released a new update on the Unify Network application which is 8.4.59 so that new update has brought a lot of new features we will see in this video. Let's get started. So here on the screen you see uh, the Unify Network application 8.4.59 so under the overview, you will see what new feature have added. So with the Unify Network application 8.4.59, it adds support for Passpoint, Hotspot 2.0, Packet Capture, AP Analyzer for Access Point and the Pro AV support and Advanced IGMP Snooping support for the switching. So you can see this all uh, new features they have added and under the Pro AV, like you can set up the audio video like uh, they you can choose uh, various various uh, brands like dante creston uh, and you can set that uh, pro av settings on the unified uh, switches so uh, there is there are some limitations as it support uh, uh, some specific switches as you can see the supported model listed here if you're having usw pro 2448 poe usw pro 2448 pro aggregation pro max and these all are uh, switches supported that pro av setup and you can uh, get the guide of uh, how you can set up the pro av so here is the guide the requirement network application should be 8.4.59 and the unified switch version should be on the early access uh, which is 7.1.16 and uh, these all switches supported pro av and this is the audio and video environment you can read that it support Dante audio, cues, SYS audio and video and how the traffic has been prioritized you can uh, use that and uh, there is also IGMP uh, new features added uh, as you can check here the IGMP setting snooping, fast uh, leave and career so on the previous controller version uh, it was not supported uh, through GUI uh, but, but you can set on the CLI but they have added it right now the new IGMP snooping settings like the fast leave and career and the snooping so you can uh, see that and here you can either choose the custom QS if you don't want to uh, buy uh, I mean manual I mean uh, by default uh, the, the options of the QS so you can set uh, to the custom QS entries like uh, you can set and here after that we will see for the packet capture so the packet capture like uh, uh, it will uh, you can uh, download the packet capture for specific access point the wireless access point or to the uplink port um, on that uh, access point so supported AP models like you can see it support latest U7 Pro U7 Pro Max, U7 Pro Wall, Outdoor and all the U6, U6 Pro, U6 Wall, U6 Enterprise, U6 Mesh Pro, U6 Lite and the U6 LR, all these are supported the packet capture features and the analyzer is supported on all access point. So you can see here and you can check the full analytics uh, and here is the pass point the feature hotspot. 2.0 which is added in the new unified controller version 8.4.59 there is also a guide for the pass point as you can see here the unified network version should be on 8.4.54 or higher on the latest and the access point should be on the uh, firmware version 6.6.75 or on the early access firmware version uh, and uh, we'll set up later uh, and test but uh, on this video we'll just keep it short and we'll see does it uh, what features uh, does it uh, support in the pass point so the pass point setup like uh, you can set up using external radius server and as of now the third party pass point providers such as google orion iron wi-fi and open roaming it simply seamlessly integrate with the unify network so you can use this and it works on the standard of 802.11u standard which simplifies public wi-fi connectivity by enabling seamless secure connection for guest device Need for the guest portal or complex uh, connection process so uh, these uh, uh, are the features for the pass point and you can see the requirement how you can configure you can click a radius profile and you can create new and it will authenticate uh, uh, 
with your radius server with your radius profile and uh, the packet capture uh, as uh, as we were checking uh, to run the packet capture on the access point uh, it requires ap firmware version should be on the latest or the early access firmware version either it supports 6.7.1 or newer on, uh, on the early access 7.0.63 so we will set up e uh, we will check each setting on the unify controller but, uh, but i don't have uh, the unify pro which is pro max which is so i can't show you the pro av uh, section uh, what does it have but uh, here i can show you in the community uh, guide and i've uh, shown you the i mean the help article so you can uh, follow i will put put down those uh, help guide in the description so you can check Oh, what is pro av and what uh, switch is supported and everything uh, so first we'll go to our uh, sites uh, the uck gen 2 plus i will open the unify network here and here you will see uh, this is the unify network dashboard and here i'm running the uxg pro if you go to the settings you will see it is running the unify network 8.4.59 so first we will check the wi-fi settings so under the wi-fi you will see uh, here it bought a new changes in the uh, wi-fi optimization so whatever channel you are using uh, on your access point it will show here and you can see uh, with the green color it says in use and this is the dfs and uh, in the amber color it says not available so right now you can see on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz 20 megahertz channel is using both 1, 6 and 11. all 3 channel is utilized and on the 5 gigahertz uh, uh, on the 40 megahertz channel with uh, channel 46 is used and channel 151 is used and uh, other than that you will see uh, it says blacklisted because it is a DFS channel so you can see that if you try to use this channel it, it also says blacklist uh, on in, in this area right now it is not supported so uh, you will see these changes in the new unified network application and here is the optimization so you can set the optimization uh, timing if you want to optimize the channel daily you can set according to that so you can set the channel optimization here and if you go to the net uh, ssid and here is the network for example the guest network and you can see uh, there is a hotspot 2.0 in the new feature and it's uh, support either captive portal or the pass point if you click on the pass point you can set uh, these all set uh, venue name venue type network type what public ip address you want to uh, set all these settings and configuration you can check i will put down a link in the uh, description the guide of the setting up a pass point on the unify and on the next video i will try to set up the pass point and test it on the unify network so this has been added and now we will check the insights if you go to the radio manager here is the performance and see this is the analyzer of the unify access point for each access point you can check the overview clients and connectivity and the single tab if you go to the radio manager and under the performance you can check the analyzation so this chart will show you the date time utilization tx retries uh, client average signal and cpu memory uh, so according to that you can uh, see how this ap performance what the memory cpu usage and the, what the average signal and how many clients are connected peak client and uh, what average signal does it, this ap draw so you can choose uh, whatever ap you want to check uh, i'm checking for the u6 slide you can check for the uh, uk ultra uh, you can check it's connected to which uh, unify switch the port and how much power is drawn or what voltage uh, does it use and here you can see the channel utilization reuse channel what channel is using on the 2.45 gigahertz so these all feature you will see under the spectrum analyzer which we bought added in the new unify network application so you can see under the description also the uk ultra has been moved from channel 44 from 40 to optimize its wireless performance and similarly you can check for the uap ac light it will show you the uh, the 
connection also ethernet right now it is connected to fast ethernet so there might be some cable issues uh, it is uh, negotiating to the 100 mbps so we'll check that uh, so here you will see all settings and here is the environment here you will see everything uh, like the 2.4 in the channel uh, 5 gigahertz channel and if, if you want to check directly on that access point you can just click on that access point you will see the analyzer so you can just click on the analyzer it will uh, show you for the specific ap the analyzer so for the packet capture what i will do i have other sites where udm pro and i have upgraded the access point u6 pro to the early access version as of now i do i have not upgraded the u6 light on that firmware version so it should show up the packet capture here but i will switch to the udm pro where i have a u6 pro running on the early access firmware version so i can show you the packet capture how does it work so here on the screen you see the packet capture says analyzer and the packet capture so what i'll do i will click on the packet capture and here it says capture on wireless or the uplink port for the uplink port you can choose the network whatever network you want to choose according to that you can set but i will keep on the wireless and i will choose the default network and you can choose other network the default because this access point is broadcasting on all ssid so uh, the duration will be 30 seconds and you can change the duration so i will click on capture so it will uh, wait for uh, some time like 30 seconds to capture and after that we'll open that file using wireshark so now it says c start or download file so i will click on download and the file will be downloaded so what i will do i will open the wireshark and you can see the wireshark is open so what i will do i will just go ahead and open the packet capture of the recent downloaded so it is opening the recent file which i have downloaded for the packet capture on that uh, u6 pro access point so you can see here so it will show you everything uh, like the for the troubleshooting purposes uh, what uh, packet capture file it gives you according to that so you can test each uh, thing like uh, it is connected to uh, google ssid you can see the uh, the my macbook uh, is was connected on this ip address and we'll check for the ubiquity like it broadcasts see this access point it is broadcasting this network on the interface so see the, the packet capture is really useful when you want to troubleshoot any wi-fi issues like the access point is uh, not connecting on the client devices so it uh, comes in very handy when you want to troubleshoot some wi-fi issues with that access point so with these new features you will get more and more i mean it will be very helpful to analyze and troubleshoot your uh, wi-fi network connectivity issues so that has been added uh, in the new unify network controller version and the other thing like as i said i don't have the unify pro switches uh, so i can show you the exact uh, pro av options but if you go to a unify switches if any of the unify switches you click on the port manager and and you click on the any switch port you will see the option here uh, tag management vlan uh, allow all block all in custom and there will be the pro av so you can choose the pro av and you can select the i mean the pro av support uh, uh, as shown here the audio and video environment what environment does it support so you can prioritize your traffic according to that and they have they have brought this uh, feature in the new unify controller version and now we will check for the new igmp settings under the unify network controller so if you go to the settings networks you will see the multicast filtering options so under the igmp snooping multicast you will see forward forward unknown multicast traffic can use this option or this option has been added which is called fast leave and here you can create a query on the unify switch for igmp previously this option was only available using cli and it was not persistent as your unify switch reboot uh, that uh, configuration get lost and you have to configure it again but now they have added this feature in the gui so you can create a query of the uh, igmp query for specific network on that switch so either you can choose the default whatever network you want to choose and whatever switch you want to 
set the IGMP query you can use even you can set the fast leave and if you check this guide uh, they have given the options here how the traffic pr prioritize when you are using IGMP uh, setting snooping fast leave and querier and here is a custom QS so and this feature uh, is uh, quite useful in the enterprise network where you want to set IGMP query on the multicasting and everything. So they have added these features. Uh, also, you will see when you go to the settings, they have added the control plane where you will see the all your uh, Unify OS application running on the UDM or the cloud key Gen 2 plus. You will see the list, uh, the network protect whatever application you are running. Also, uh, you will see one uh, new feature when you access the UI.com. Uh, you will see there is a one ISP viewer where you can see your IS all uh, latency, packet loss and uptime. And you can either choose by side, by ISP, even you can create the ISP, I mean side group, whatever side you want to check. So here I have listed all, I mean all devices all the uh, udm gateways as my uh, different different isp so you can check here the latency packet loss what, what packet loss it get so according to that you can see you can uh, take an action of your uh, fan network connection so you can see the average packet loss what was the uptime of your uh, van connection so you can see, depending on that you can see it says concerning so you have to check why there are so many packet loss on this network so you can check with your isp on that so here you can set the like for example here if you check the uptime and you choose all the uh, devices i mean all the gateways so you can see the uptime 100 percent the scale here when there are loss in the uptime you will see the UCG Ultra was down for uh, that moment, like 38% showing up from similarly. You can check for the packet loss for each of the sites. Like here, it will show you the whole, I mean, uh, you can see the whole list, uh, UCG Ultra showing 65% packet loss and you can see other are 0% there are no packet loss. And here you can see the UDM Pro 31. So this uh, ISP viewer is very helpful for uh, checking all your network is working properly or not. And here is the update update manager. So you can update all your Unify devices at once from here. You can update it all. So uh, that was the topic I have to cover in the new Unify controller version 8.4.5. But in the next video, I will try to cover the topic of the Unify pass point, how you can configure the Unify pass point. Uh, and so I have to set up the third party radio server. So yeah, uh, after that, I can set the set up the pass point and test it. Uh, so I think that's it for the today's video. I hope you will like this video. If you have not followed my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.